Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricut. Today I'm going to be making some no-bake cookies. Uh, these are real easy to make. They've been around for a long time and the first time I ever made them I didn't think that my daughter would like it because she is such a picky eater and because it has oatmeal in it but these are one of her favorite cookies. So what we're going to need to get started is in my saucepan I have two cups of white granulated sugar. I'm going to be adding a half a cup of milk, a half a cup of cocoa powder, and one stick of butter which is a half a cup of butter. I keep my stick butter in the freezer so I thawed it out a little bit in the microwave. Now over medium heat I'm going to keep stirring this and bring it to a full rolling bowl and I will show you what that looks like when it gets there and when it does we will boil it for one minute and then we're going to remove it from the heat we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla, a half a cup of peanut butter, and I'm using creaming, and three cups of the quick cook oats. And you can use the regular oatmeal too. So I'm going to put this on medium heat. And just be careful with this because when you're boiling sugar on the stove, very dangerous, it's very hot. So just be careful and if I had small kids here today they would know they couldn't come in the kitchen right at this moment and we would explain why. So I'll be back when this uh, comes to the bowl and it will take a, a little bit for it to get there. Got all of my ingredients mixed in. May see a few little lumps of the cocoa. So you'll want to keep stirring this so it doesn't stick to the bottom or burn on the bottom or anything and I'll be back when it comes to a uh, bowl. Alright it's starting to boil but this is not a full rolling bowl. It's almost there. Be very careful at this point this stuff will burn you bad. Alright it's almost there. All right, now see how fast and everything that it's boiling, it's boiling real hard. It's a good rolling boil. So now we're gonna time it for one minute. Be very careful at this point. And after one minute, I'll meet you over at the table. Okay, I've removed it from the heat. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. See it sizzle up. Going to add a half a cup of peanut butter. And I'm using creamy. I'm going to mix this in. Till it melts some. And you can also use your whisk at this time. Now I'm going to add my three cups of oatmeal. And mix it till it's well incorporated. And then you're going to drop it by teaspoons full on some wax paper or parchment paper. I'm using wax paper. And I'll be back once I get them on uh, my pan line with wax paper. Alright, I have all of my cookies laid on some wax paper. <clears throat> Actually, I got two pans full. So, um, 
You're gonna leave them setting out until they cool and harden up. Could take 30, 45 minutes. All right, our cookies are ready to be removed from the wax paper and onto a serving plate. And my daughter has already came in here and ate two of them. So how was they, Nikki? She's giving a thumbs up and smiling. So you can tell when they're ready because they'll lift off real easy from this wax paper from this wax paper or you can use parchment paper so I'll be back when I get them all ready if you're worried about these sticking together you can layer line each layer with some wax paper but I would keep these in an airtight container I'm not really worried about it too much because they're probably going to be all gone tonight. But they are so good. See, they're not sticking or anything. So I hope you enjoy.